Whether it's on the corporate ladder or with individual wealth, China is now leading the way for women in business. Hello, I'm Arnold Naidu and this is The Heat. According to a report last year, there are 78 self-made women entrepreneurs worldwide whose wealth is over $1 billion. Nearly two-thirds of them are from China. Put another way, the wealth growth among female Chinese entrepreneurs is expanding at its fastest pace in history. And with record numbers of Chinese women receiving college degrees and more and more participating in the workforce, that upward trend seems likely to continue. CGTN's Sun Yi reports on one young entrepreneur looking to chart her own path to success. Mm, Nia Weiwei's four euro is the reason why she started her business just five months after giving birth. She was looking for postnatal care, properly done in the age of internet, and decided to do it herself. The idea of Nainu Mama put her onto the national stage and won her the first few rounds of investment, which counted in the millions of yuan. My investors picked me because I'm a mother. They believe I will be responsible and all into the cause. A former user experience designer with WeChat, Nia knows that opportunities wait for no one. And a growing number of women in China are also making the most of their chances today. Hu Ren has reported that of the richest women in China, some 70 percent have started their business from scratch. And in 2017, the country's richest female entrepreneurs saw their average wealth jump nearly 50 percent. Zhou Chunfei of Lens Technology is the number one self-made woman not only in China but also in the world. I'm definitely seeing more women entrepreneurs these days. We have many groups that bond us together and help us through the process. There are venture capitalists that now pay special attention to startups by women. Improvement, but not nearly enough, as women are still few and far between in founder and management positions. But they're aiming higher than ever before. Nia is moving on to her next step, a full service chain that caters to new mothers and babies' needs. There is no going back. Once you've been in the founder or management role, you just can't go back to doing single task jobs or being a mother at home. Though it means zero holiday time in the last four years and the years to come, Nia says it's a price she's willing to pay. Sun Ye, CGTN, Beijing.